I have always had so much difficulty in the last few years of um, going down the stairs, just my knee feeling like it couldn't handle my weight and that it couldn't bend that far forward to make it downstairs. And so I've been going sideways and one step at a time, making me feel a lot older than I am. Now she can go down the stairs one after the other, but not focusing primarily on knee bending. We focused on a different joint and that was the ankles. Yes, and I had no idea that it could possibly come from that. I always thought it was knee only. In this video, I'm gonna show you my top three favorite movements to help improve your ankle mobility to help with reducing stiffness going down the stairs. For this first movement, we're going to use this as both a test and an exercise. So you're going to place your foot about a hand's width away from the wall, and it can be approximate. So I'm gonna put my hand here. There we go, okay. Now, keep your full foot on the floor, especially the heel, and bend at the knee to try to touch the wall. I usually like to try at least five of these. As your knee and ankle may start to loosen up, the more you try. Keep that back heel on the floor. And let's try two more. And last one. You can see that she is close, but we're not quite there yet. This can then in turn become an exercise. What we're going to do is run through 10 of these. When it's an exercise, I like to hold at the end range for a count of two. As your ankle starts to get used to this movement, it can really help to cement that mobility. So let's try this again. Put your foot about a hands width away, keep that heel on the floor, and let's try 10. One, two, relax. One, two, relax. One, two, relax. There's three. One, two, relax. There's four. One, two, relax. There's five. Really focusing on keeping this back heel down. There's six. Seven. There we go, we're so close to the wall. There's eight. Nine, and last one, hold for a count of two. One and two. This next movement, we're going to be doing an elevated heel raise. You can use a step stool just like this. You can also do this on a regular heighted stair. Put both balls of your foot on top of the step, allowing your heels to hang off just like this. Now, you're going to raise up onto your, the balls of your feet and then let your heels relax down and repeat. Notice she's holding onto a wall. I'd highly recommend having something for support for this to maximize the height that you're able to get. Up and then down. Down in this position here, we're starting to work this ankle angle. Now we're going to run through 10 and I want you to hold for a two count at the bottom. And down, one, two, raise up. And down, one, two, raise up. And down, one, two, raise up and down, one, two. One thing you want to be mindful of is not bending so far forward as you let those ankles relax down. Excellent. Three more. And down, one, two, raise up. Down, one, two. Last one, raise up. Down, one, two. Two. Starting with just 10 of these can start to utilize that ankle range of motion that we just stretched out in the exercise previous. For this last one, you're going to stand against a wall and take about a half step to a full step forward. Reach back and lean against the wall so your upper body and lower back is in contact with the wall. Now, you are going to try to raise your toes off the floor. If you're having a hard time getting much distance from the floor, you can take about a half step further forward to allow for a little bit more range of motion. You're not going to get a ton of lift here, but you do want to be able to actually get your foot off of the ground. 
Excellent. Try to take another half step forward. Perfect. And then see if we can, there we go. Now we're going to run through 10 of these. Lift up and down. Lift up and down. You should feel your shin muscles working on this. There we go. Four, five, and you may also notice that you fatigue rather quickly with this one. Seven, eight, nine, and last one. Excellent. We're working those shin muscles that help to get this ankle range of motion. Now we're going to retest our ankle mobility to see how it has improved with just those three simple movements. Again, your foot is about a hand's width away from the wall. Keeping this back heel on the floor, try to drive that knee to the wall. And you can see... Oh my gosh. Here, we already have a little bit more range of motion than we did when we started. The key is consistency. So what is one of the tips that you use that helped you be consistent using these specific movements? Well, I have to walk my dogs to the park every morning and it's pretty boring. And because I have to throw the ball, I can't just walk. And so I do these while I'm standing there, either with a bench by me to, for support, or if there's an uneven surface, I will do the ankle raises, or I will do the knee bends at a bench, or wherever I can, really. Any way that you can fit these into your daily routine is an excellent way to make significant improvements in your ankle mobility. That way, activities like going down the stairs can become much easier.